hi guys welcome back to my channel this is Neka of Ninja Canada girl if you've been following me for a while or if you even follow me at all you would know that I share tips hacks tricks and pretty much things I've picked up I share my experiences on things I've picked up along um, my immigration journey as an immigrant here in Canada by the way guys I became a Canadian citizen about a month that's a lie actually about two months ago but i got my passport about a month ago i have all the details about how that went in a different video i'll be putting the link as soon as it's ready but this video however is for something entirely different um i traveled to ottawa about a week ago to renew my nigerian passport and i had a lot of interest um from I had a lot of people indicate interest in knowing the process of renewing your Nigerian passport right here in Canada. And I pretty much documented my entire journey and I'm here to share everything you need to know just before you renew your Nigerian passport here in Canada. If this is content you're interested in, do not go anywhere. welcome back guys so like i said in this video i'll be sharing my entire experience um, of how i renewed my nigerian passport here in canada i'll be letting you know the things i had to do so pretty much the details you need to know the documents you need how to apply how to start up the process where to go and if this is the information you've been wondering you probably already have yours coming up for renewal soon or maybe in the near future and you want to know um, how exactly it works that's all the tea i'll be spilling in this video so i went to ottawa about a week ago to renew my nigerian passport expiring next month in august and it was quite a learning curve for me but I'm really glad that I went through the process and I'm here to tell you everything you need to. So that you don't miss anything out um, or you don't miss out on any information, I'll be breaking this video down into the first um, half of this video would be about the things, you, the documentation you would need for the process. The second half would just be about tips and tricks that would make your life a whole lot easier through the process. Okay, now, first thing you should know is that all passport renewals are done through the Nigeria High Commission and it's located in Ottawa here in Ontario and this is the only location in the entire Canada so whether you live in Saskatchewan whether you live in Alberta whether you live in New Brunswick or whatever province you might live in um, when it's time to get your passport renewed you need to find your way to Ottawa the Nigerian High Commission in Ottawa in the province of Ontario I didn't know this myself until I went there and I met a lot of people there who had come from all provinces across Canada okay now the process itself is quite straightforward it has to be done in person so just in case you're wondering if this can be done online yeah you can start up the application process online but you have to appear physically to go through the process because you would also be captured um, meaning that a picture will be taken of you while you are there at the, um, the High Commission. Now, the first documentation you need, obviously, is your expiring passport. You have to have a passport that is expiring in at least six months, um, in a maximum of six months. Um, so what it means is that your passport could be expiring next month, it could be expiring in two months, and it could be expiring in six months. So if you have a passport expiring soon, you're definitely eligible to have it renewed. So the first thing you need to do to get started is you need to book an appointment date. This is the very first thing you need to do. So you need to go to the Nigeria High Commission um, in Ottawa web um, Nigeria High Commission Ottawa website. I'll be putting the link in my description box, and you need to go to their appointment calendar, and you need to book a date for your appointment. Now, while booking this, be careful not to book any day that is a holiday because holidays will be observed meaning they would not be available at work you also try to you need to try to make sure you're not booking a weekend as well okay so when you book the date you want you receive a confirmation email with an appointment date and just confirming that you've been confirmed for that date okay now that confirmation email is the first thing you need for this process so print it out, print out the email and keep it in a file or just keep it somewhere because you need it when you eventually go to Ottawa. Now, the second thing you would need is an application form. On the Nigeria High Commission website, you need to go to the e-passport renewal tab 
and then you'd be required to fill an application form. You need to fill in all the information required. I mean, it's a standard form that has all the information they would need. So you need to fill everything they ask. And it's also going to ask you to specify the number of years of passport you need. Now, if you want the five year passport, you need to specify. If you want the 10 year passport, you need to specify. Now, when I did mine, they only had the five year passport available. So that was the only option I could go for. And rumor has it that the 10 year passport is never quite available in Canada. So you probably would end up getting the five year passport, even if you choose the 10 year passport. Or the portal might tell you straight up that the 10 year isn't available like it did for me. And um, as soon as you're done filling the form, it's also going to make you pay for this passport um, application. Um, for the five year, there's a fee and for the 10 year, there's a fee. Now, like I said, because it was only the five year available, I paid the fee for the five year passport. This was 107 US dollars. But by the time the transaction hits my Canadian bank account, it was about 138 Canadian dollars. OK, so this is how much you'll be paying to have your passport renewed. And this is the application fee. Now, as soon as you're done filling the form and making the payment, the next thing you will need, which is something you would receive as soon as you're done making the payment, is an acknowledgement slip. You need to print that out. You also need to print out the third thing, oh, I'm sorry, the fourth thing you will need, which is the payment slip. So after you make the payment, it's going to generate an acknowledgement slip, which you need to print out. And there's also a payment slip, which you need to print out. Now, the application form you filled also, it's a printable form. So you can fill it online, but you need to print it out and then you need to sign and date it. So this is another document you need. So, so far I have mentioned the confirmation email, the signed and dated application form, the acknowledgement slip and the payment slip. So if you have all these, I mean, if you're going along and you were able to get all this or grab all this, as I was saying, let's move forward. Now, these are just the things you need to print out at the point where you are, you know, filling it online. Like I said, you start the process online, fill the form and all that. Um, but this is just the pre application because you need to go to Ottawa for the main thing itself. OK, now you would also need a photocopy of the data page of your passports. Yes, the one expiring. This is really important. It's so important that if you don't have it when you get there, you'd be asked to, you'd lose your turn in the queue and you'd be asked to go somewhere and make a copy and bring it back. Trust me, it sucks and you don't want that happening to you. So you also need a photocopy of the data page of your passports that is expiring. And you also need the actual expiring passports because you'll be leaving this with them. So do not forget to take your expiring passports and do not also forget to make a photocopy of the data page. Now you would also need two passport photographs um, I will be putting the exact specification or um, the picture specification in the description box. But all you need to go is you can go to a Staples, you can go to a Walmart. Um, these people already have the standard sizing of all the passports for every country. So once you say you're there for a Nigerian passport, they have the standard sizing and all they need to do is take you a picture and give the two pictures to you. But just in case you also want to know the dimensions and I'll be putting that in the description box and they need to be recent pictures of you. Now, the next thing you need is something called a self addressed envelope. So what would be happening is that you'd be submitting your old envelope to um, the high commission when you're done your old passport in an envelope. And when they are done with the process and you have your new passport, they'll put it in that same envelope and mail it to you. So this is an envelope that you should have already paid for the postage and everything in Canada Post. So all you need to do is go to Canada Post and let them know you need um, you need an express envelope. So you pay for the express envelope and you take it with you to the Nigeria High Commission. Does that make sense? So they're not pretty. So you're, you're paying to have your passports mailed back to you by getting that envelope. So it's a prepaid, it's an already paid for envelope. It's an express envelope. Now, here's a tip. You don't need to spend so much and get that jumbo size. There are different sizes. You can get the smallest size, which is 
perfectly okay and it's gonna your passport is gonna fit into that size so you don't spend unnecessary um, make any unnecessary spending you do not need to okay now there's something else you would need the next thing you need is called a money order so there's an admin fee for this process different from your application fee remember I did say my application fee was about 138 Canadian dollars there's also a $50 admin fee and the mode they receive this payment is in something called a money order you do not need to worry yourself too much about what it is you just need to go to canada post and let them know that you want to purchase a money order now the only thing they would need from you is who the money order should be payable to and on the nigeria high commission website it's clearly specified the money order should be made payable to the Nigeria High Commission Ottawa. So you tell the Canada Post representative that you want a money order for $50 payable to the Nigeria High Commission Ottawa. So as soon as you make the $50 payment, they would give you the money order in an envelope. And this is one of the things you need to take to you. It's actually one of the most important things because it's highlighted in red in the confirmation email you'd receive from the Nigeria High Commission make sure you bring the money order now something else you need to know just in case you can only pay for a money order with cash or debit so you can't pay with your credit card i know i initially presented my credit card and she said no we need the debit card or cash thankfully i had my purse with me so i also had my debit card with me so this is something you might want to bear in mind so you need a money order um, and the last thing you need is um, the last thing you need to take with you is, like I said, it's very important you take the passport that is expiring itself, okay? Now, the last thing you need to make sure um, you have is an alternative means to get back to where you traveled from. This applies to people who might be coming from outside Ontario and who probably use their passports as a mode of ID before traveling. You might need something else, maybe like a PR card, because... When you travel from, let's say, for example, Alberta to Ontario with your passport, if you had used your passport as your ID, remember that you'd be returning that, you'd be leaving that passport at the Nigeria Embassy in Ottawa. So you need something else. So make sure you have something else with you, maybe like a driver's license. Just make sure that your Nigerian passport isn't the only form of ID you have. And this applies, like I said, mostly to people who might be coming from outside of Ontario. OK, so now these are all the things you need to have your passport renewed in the Nigeria High Commission in Ottawa, your Nigerian passports. OK, so I'm just going to do a quick rundown just in case you don't want to have to rewind again. I'm just going to do a quick rundown of everything you need. You need a copy of the email confirming your appointment. So after you make your appointment on the portal, you need the confirmation email. You need to print that out. You need the passport application form, which you'll be filling on the Nigerian High Commission um, um, portal. You need your payment slip. You need your acknowledgement slip. You need a photocopy of your passport data page, the expiring passport. You also need the actual passport itself. You need to resend passport photographs. You need a self-addressed envelope. You can get this from Canada Post and you also need a money order. So if you've been able to get all these things um, and you have this jotted down or whatever and you're able to get all this, you are good. So this is the documentation part of everything. These are all the documents you need for the process. Now, in terms of what exactly happens as soon as you get to the embassy, you're pretty much outside, probably on the queue, depending on when you get there. I got there by 7 a.m. and I was probably the maybe 10th person on the queue. It wasn't so bad. It wasn't such a bad day. Um, so you're probably just queuing outside until the office officially opens at about 8 30 and then there is someone at the door who actually checks to be sure you have all the documents you need before letting you in so if there's any document you're missing he's sending you away so you're pretty much going to sort yourselves out there were people 
who didn't have um, the envelope to return the passports. They had to, you know, dash to the nearest Canada post. There were people who didn't have copies of their data page. They had to dash somewhere to make copies. So just make sure that you have everything intact because the guy at the door just checks everything before letting you in. Now, as soon as you're let in, for us ladies, you know, we always have our handbags or one thing or the other. Those things aren't allowed there, even your phone. So they actually give you a key to a locker. You go to the locker, put your stuff in, lock it up, and you hold the keys. And then you're taken to another waiting area. You're given a number, like a tally number, and you're taken to that waiting area. So while you're in the waiting area, somebody begins to call out the numbers. So when your number is called, you pretty much go there, give them the documents you're requesting, you wait a little bit again, and then someone else calls you to capture, and that's it. To be honest, considering that um, there was a Rogers outage on that day, the experience for me wasn't entirely bad. The wait time wasn't horrible either. I ended up being, so by the time they had sent some people back that didn't have the things they needed to go back and get them, I ended up being the third person from the tent. I became the third person on the queue. And it wasn't really a bad wait. Although yes, considering there was an outage issue, we had to wait for about two hours to see if there was going to be a backup or if something was going to happen. And when nothing was happening, after like two hours, they decided, you know what? let's just use our backup system it's going to be really slow and excruciating but let's start using it so what this means is that on a good day if there's no outage and everything goes well you're not going to spend such a long time there especially if you get there early so when they started attending to me to from when they started attending to me to when i left that place it was probably half an hour or less okay so it's probably not as bad as you might think it is now in terms of tips and tricks and things that would help make your life easier for your trip is that you need to um, plan a lot so i'll give you some tips and tricks that worked for me um, i live in toronto so um, i went to ottawa by via rail so in case you're wondering if you live in toronto and you know you don't want to drive or you don't even drive and you're wondering how to get there via rail actually goes to ottawa um, depending on when you bought your tickets, I was lucky to have bought my ticket well before my trip. So um, I bought a round, I bought a round trip and it was $84 each way. It was $84 each way. So to Ottawa and back to Ottawa and back to Toronto. Okay. Um, and because I knew I was going to renew my Nigerian passport, I just decided I wanted to make a trip out of it because I hadn't been to Ottawa you can definitely go there um, get your business done and come back the same day but you also want to plan properly you need to get to the nigerian um, high commission early and i say this because there might be you might be unfortunate to have a whole lot of other people there on the same day you want to renew I mean, some people have said they went there and they were, I mean, they were, they got there by maybe 7 a.m. and they were just the third on the queue. Some other people get there as early as 6 a.m. and they are like the 10th or even 20th on the queue. So every day is different. Some days have more traffic than the other. So you want to make sure you're planning your trip in such a way that you are arriving the embassy very early. If you have a friend in Ottawa and you feel like you can sleep over a day before, that's perfect. I know I met some people there who said they started driving from Toronto as early as 3 a.m. I don't know if you want to do that. If you're able to, perfect. If you're not able to, um, you should try to plan to maybe come a day before and leave on the same day as soon as you're done with the process. But it's entirely up to you. I spent an entire weekend there. I got there on Thursday. I left on Saturday, but it was deliberate. I actually wanted to tour Ottawa a bit I had never been and I felt like there was a lot for me to see and explore like you know I like to do okay now another thing you need to do is you need to give yourself a buffer I went for my passport renewal on the day if you live in Canada um, you probably heard about the recent Rogers and Fido outage and that was the day I went. Unfortunately for me, the Nigeria embassy used Rogers. So there was no network. So at that point, I wasn't even sure if I was still going to be able to um, get my passport renewal done that day. I had no idea if I was going to be able to make it. But thankfully, they had a backup system. So they did say they were able to proceed. It's just that it was going to take a longer time. 
you know so i know there were some people there who had returned flights to toronto or to other provinces by 1 p.m and there was no way they were going to be done by 1 p.m because of how slow the new alternative system they had to use was so you want to give yourself a buffer so if you're able to plan your trip in a way that um you're probably leaving if you want to leave the same day maybe take the last flight or the last train or whatever mode of transport for the day, maybe from 5 p.m. at least the embassy would be closed then. Just make sure you're giving yourself enough time so that you do not miss your bus, your train or whatever mode of transportation you probably already paid for. Okay, so that's the next tip for me. Now, um, another tip is you need to be prepared to wait for the passport to arrive. So if you know that your passport is expiring in maybe a few months and you have a trip to make soon, I would advise you make that trip before trying to renew and renew your passport during a period when you probably would not need that passport within the next maybe one to two months or even three months because the timeline I was given, not just me, everyone else who went there on that day, they had said our passports might be ready between 13 to 16 weeks so this isn't even certain so thankfully thank you canada <laughs> i have my canadian passport so no pressure um i wouldn't be going to nigeria anytime soon anyways but this is these are things you also want to consider just so that you're able to plan yourself properly and again guys i'd had i've had had ottawa was very basic and there was nothing about the town and it was just so boring i feel like it also depends on when you're going i went in the summer there were a lot of patios a lot of restaurants there were some festivals it just felt like it had a, it had a montreal feel if you've been to montreal i kind of got that feel and i did enjoy my time there um, so it really depends on you. If you want to make it a fun trip, you could Google things you could do in Ottawa while you're there. So guys, this is pretty much the process I went through to renew my Nigerian passport. I still haven't received my passport back, but fingers crossed I get it back soon or not. It really doesn't matter. I don't need it anytime soon. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're yet to subscribe, please hit the subscribe button. And like I always say, I just share my experiences. This is an immigration advice. I am not a licensed immigration consultant or anything like that. Thank you guys for watching. Until my next video, be good.